Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Are you looking for a solid raw editor for the Windows platform? ACDC Professional 2024 and Affinity Photo 2 are two options which offer an expansive feature set at a great price. But which one is the better raw editor for your money? That's what we're going to be finding out in today's video. Let's start with the price. As of this writing, ACDC Professional is on sale at 80 US dollars, down from 99. For that price, you get a fully featured photo manager and raw module, but no layered editor a la Photoshop. If you need a layered editor, that will cost you 99 US dollars for ACDC Ultimate. But since we won't be performing any layered editing, we're gonna stick with Professional for this review. Affinity Photo 2, on the other hand, costs 75 US dollars, and for that price, you get a raw editor and layered editor, but no photo manager. So in terms of pricing, there's not much to choose from these two. Next, let's run through the strengths and weaknesses of each editor, starting with ACDC. Let's focus first on ACDC's strengths. Its headline feature, of course, is its integrated AI masking, which is very easy to use and just works. With just one click, you can mask the sky or subject, reducing the need for tedious brushing. In addition, masking errors can be corrected with a brush, which thankfully has built-in edge detection, something highly regarded competitors like Luminar or Photomator don't even have. In terms of local adjustments, ACDC's tools found in the masking panel and include fill light, exposure, and curves have great dynamic range and detail recovery, evidence that it works with the underlying raw data, not just a compressed format. ACDC also has a very effective and easy to use linear gradient tool which is my favorite AI masking tool within ACDC. As you can see here, it is great for balancing images with an overly dark foreground and overly bright sky. In short, ACDC 2024 with its AI masks is a drastic improvement from 2023 and a win for ACDC. So those are the strengths of ACDC 2024 Let's move on to ACDC's weaknesses. The biggest flaw with ACDC has to do with the poor targeting performance of its global adjustment tools located in the general panel. For example, its fill light adjustment, which as the name suggests, is supposed to brighten just the underexposed areas, inexplicably brightens practically every single tone, shadows, midtones, and highlights. Why this is the behavior of the fill light slider, I do not understand. Moving to the highlight slider, unfortunately, it doesn't fare much better. As you can see here, highlights, which is supposed to affect just the bright areas, also affects all the tones, even the shadows, pretty dramatically, which is not how a highlight slider is supposed to behave. Finally, its clarity slider is pretty ineffective as well. So those are the strengths and weaknesses of ACDC. Now let's move on to Affinity Photo, starting with its strengths. Affinity Photo's main strength is the quality of its global adjustments, which perform far more effectively than ACDC's. While ACDC's fill light adjustment targets every tone under the sun, you can see that Affinity's shadow adjustment properly limits its adjustment to just the underexposed areas, leaving brighter areas untouched. The same goes for its highlights adjustment, limiting the bulk of the effect to just the bright regions as it is supposed to. Affinity Photo 2 also has a top class clarity adjustment that works effectively in improving local contrast, bringing out details that make the image pop. Now let's move on to weaknesses. 
the biggest weakness for Affinity Photo has to do with the limitations of its local adjustments. For example, while Affinity has a very capable linear gradient tool, you cannot add or remove from the mask with a brush, which is a pretty standard function found in its competitors. Also, the edge detection of its masking brush is very unreliable, even more so than ACDC's, making creating precise masks and local adjustments a challenge. In addition, Affinity's local adjustments has very limited shadow and highlight recovery, so much so that I resort to using the brightness or exposure slider to properly brighten more effectively. So that is a quick overview of the strengths and weaknesses of each editor. Now let's move on to our summary. So which one do I think is the better raw editor? Is it ACDC with its all improved local adjustments and AI masking? Or Affinity Photo with its ever reliable global adjustments but subpar local masking? The winner in my opinion is Affinity Photo 2 for several reasons. First, its user interface and navigation is significantly snappier and more responsive than ACDC's, where opening a raw file or navigating menus is a sluggish experience overall. This negates any time savings you get from using its capable AI masks. Second, Affinity's more precise global adjustments do help make the editing more effortless as you can get a quality result without resorting to masking, which admittedly Affinity is not great at. Also, with regards to local masking, ACDC doesn't even have a proper highlight adjustment, just an exposure adjustment in its local adjustment panel, a real head scratcher that makes the editing unnecessarily harder. Finally, Affinity also has the better clarity slider, which unlike ACDC's does work and helps bring out details in the right areas. So the winner is Affinity Photo 2 for 2023. That being said, the gap is not large and we can only hope that ACDC fixes its very fixable flaws for 2024, similar to what On One did in their latest release. And maybe then they can overtake Affinity Photo 2 as the better raw editor. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what your own thoughts are. Which is the better raw editor, ACDC Professional 2024 or Affinity Photo 2? I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.